Hey guys, it's Snaking27 here, and I'm going to be doing like a bunch of how-to videos, like how to choose your snake, how to care for them, caging. This is how, what's like um the best starter snake. What or how to choose your first snake? And I've got five snakes here. Wait, four snakes. Four. <coughs> I want to have five, but hold them. I'm going to do from. Number five to number one. I'm going to start off with number five. Number five, I wouldn't really recommend for a starter snake. They can be good snakes. <coughs> Which is a Kenya Sambala. This one's light. You go and get She's doing a lot better. Yeah. Won't you do bite me? We've actually got two. Hey, hey, hey. Stop freaking yeah, out. He has. He's a spaz. So you can use bows, can be good snakes, but I would recommend uh, these other three first. I would do a lot of research on them for the heat and everything. Um, these guys can be good snakes though. What do they eat? Ah! What do they eat? Um, he's eating pinkies, and I'm not really sure what we still feed him. Um, what bedding do they are they used on? Right now we got aspen and, and shred like shredded, unprinted newspaper. Do they need humanity? Um, no. Not really because they're not really into moist areas and they need heat. A lot of heat. <coughs> we move on to the third best. It's actually a really good snake to start out with. Not the top, but it's really good. Some shed too. Nice. Which is a king snake. King snakes can be good pets, but they do like to bite, except for this one. I did have an albino Californian king that bit me every time I touched it. <coughs> um, that's why I wouldn't. That's why it's not number two or number one because their attitude. Um, this is a Max Max king snake. Um, it's my second king snake. Yes, the second one. What does he eat? <coughs> you eating fuzzies? Um, how much humidity does it need to have? Not really much. Okay. What is it? What What is this? Um, bedding. Basically, good from anything. But um, what I would re really want men is Eco Earth, because it would get too, too wet and too much humidity. Um, you can use paper towels, uh, unprinted newspaper, aspen, aspen, all that crap. Now these, the next two are my favorites. <coughs> Look at that. What? And number two, he just keeps getting one. Number two is the corn snake. Um, we, I picked num for number two the corn snake because these guys have great attitudes usually. They can be picky when they want to and bitey. Um, <coughs> what about these guys is the size. They, they can reach seven feet if you feed them right. Um, heavy. Huh? Feel heavy. Yes. Um, he's eating fuzzies or hoppers, one of the two. So no buy now. These are one of the cheapest snakes you can get too. You can get them for, these guys for like ten bucks. <coughs> um. This the corn snake was actually my first store bought snake that I had. I got it at the reptile show. And they can be quick when they're babies too. What bedding do you use, um, suppose uh, they use? What? What bedding do you think they should use? Um, mostly aspen. <coughs> it's great for corn snakes. Toilet, toilet paper, um, paper towel. I'm trying to use unprinted. And now the top starter snake that I would really recommend is the ball python. Get off. Because these guys are slow, they usually have great attitudes. Um, they don't get as big as corn snakes. Might have really bad attitude. <laughs> yeah, his has a pretty bad attitude. Well, it really depends if the the guy you got it from and if you handle him. It's actually a female normal. <coughs> what does she eat? <coughs> She's eating mice. What do they eat when they're adults? When they're adults, they can eat large rats. Now, if they get big enough. They can eat larger rats. <laughs> um, what is their, what do you think their bedding should be? Um, 
Like the wood chips. Uh, Saber mulch? Yes. Okay, that's the best one. Yeah, you can get that at Home Depot for like two bucks, four bucks a bag. And um, the bags problem is, big. huh? The bags are pretty big. Yeah. Problem is, you usually have to change it every three months to keep away mites. Um, I actually read that online. Do we shut up? Um, <clears throat> these guys, they're not normally quick, but they can be. You can get these for like twenty-five bucks, twenty bucks at the show. Um, how, um, do you like the morphs, and how many are there? There can, there's, could be hundreds of morphs, um, they're still making new ones. And these guys, if you want snakes that are great in money, bull pythons, will get you a lot of money, because they, um, one bull python can get you up to 20,000 if you sell it. But, um, do you think breeding snakes is just for the money? No, I like, I like, I haven't actually bred snakes yet. So I don't have an incubator, and um, the first snakes are probably going to breed is either be corn snakes or bull pythons. But um, I can get money out of them, but I like to do it because it's fun. You can get different morphs out of them that I haven't seen before. But um, when I really do get into deep breeding, it probably be when I get a job, an actual job, and get <coughs> money and get more morphs. But um, this is it for this how-to video. Until next time. Peace.